Hello and welcome to this SPSS one-on-one series with Word Analytics. Today we look at the chi-square test for friend, a special kind of chi-square that is used when your categorical variable is an ordinal variable. You want to test whether there is a linear relationship in the outcome as a result of your independent variable. So let's get into the PC and see how it is done. As usual, we are going to use a data set that comes pre-installed with SPSS that you can access on your computer and also follow the steps that we are doing right there. To access this sample data set, simply go to File, Open, Open Data, and then locate the installation folder for SPSS, which is usually under uh, this PC. Look for the partition where your softwares are installed, usually on local disk C. Uh, look for program files, identify a folder called IBM, open it, then you'll see SPSS, go ahead and open, you'll again see statistics, open, you'll see a number corresponding to the version of SPSS you're using, again open and look for the samples folder, open it and then uh, choose your language, which is English here, and the data set we are going to use today is uh, called the demo data set. You can use this horizontal scroll bar to look for a demo data set alphabetically arranged. You can see demo is here. I click on it and then they click OK. So our focus today is going to be on two variables. That is employment category. This one here which is the years with someone has spent with the current employer, the employment cut, and then the second variable is going to be news, or the description is the newspaper subscription for this individual. We want to establish is there a relationship between the employment duration with this employer versus um, whether this person has subscribed or not. You will note that uh, for our independent variable, which is, uh, if I click on variable view and check on employment category, our values, we have one for less than five, two, five to 15, and three is a category of more than 15 years. Whereas these are just categories, we would think that uh, as the number of years increase when this person is employed to this particular employer, it may influence whether this person has subscribed to a newspaper or not. So the hypothesis we are testing here is, the null says, is there a linear relationship in the values of the outcome for the different levels of the independent variable? As you move from one level of an ordinal variable to the other, from less than five years to the category of five to 15, to the category of more than 15 years, is there a linear relationship in the number of those who have subscribed to this newspaper? Let's see how this is run. To conduct this chi-square test for trends, simply go to analyze, go to descriptive statistics and choose cross tabs under cross tabs for the rows that's where our independent variable goes in this case it is an ordinal categorical independent variable and for that which is um, which is years with current employer in brackets the name is mcat so we get this ordinal variable we push it into the rows and the outcome is whether this person has subscribed to this newspaper which is the second last option newspaper subscription we put it under columns and then under statistics choose chi-square test and then you say continue then uh, you say okay this is similar to the chi-square test for independence except that uh, when we are interpreting yeah we go straight to the chi-square tests and we go for the linear by linear association. We look at the p-value instead of the Pearson chi-square, which we would look at in the uh, normal chi-square test for independence. 
you would want to see is there a linear relationship besides the overall chi-square for independence you would also be interested in knowing is there a linear relationship if this was a categorical variable so we see here that our p-value is less than 0 0.05 indicating that there is a linear relationship in newspaper subscription with a number of years spent with the, this particular employer the higher the number of years the more the subscription okay so you will have uh, you also have just like the chi-square test for independence you have the you have the case processing summary here you have the descriptives and um, yeah the chi-square test results being a chi-square for you to interpret it you also need to know the assumptions that have to be fulfilled before you run a chi-square test we have this covered in our previous video on how to run a chi-square test for independence the link is on the top of your screen you can uh, go and watch that video so that you know how to appropriately use a chi-square test so today we've looked at a chi-square test for trend which is similar to the chi-square test for independence but this one tests for the linear by linear relationship if you have any question feel free to put it in the comment section we shall uh, respond to it as soon as we can next we look at the mcnema test the assumptions and how to run it in spss so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss out any of the episodes that we release see you in the next video